Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to Cikgu Syamimi's class. Today, I will teach a topic in Physics Form 4 under Team Newtonian Mechanics in Chapter 2 which is Topic 2.4, Inertia. Now, let us see the learning standard for inertia. First, to explain with examples the concept of inertia. The second learning standard is to do experiment to find the relationship between inertia and mass. This learning standard will be conducted in the school with your teacher. The last learning standard is to justify the effects of inertia in our daily life. We start our lesson by introducing the concept of inertia together with its examples. Before we go further, let us do a simple activity by using three simple materials, which are a glass, cardboard, and a coin. Set up those three materials as shown in diagram 1. Can you guess what will happen if we quickly pull the cardboard horizontally? Yes, you are right. When we quickly pull the cardboard horizontally, the coin will fall straight into the glass. This situation happened due to inertia. So, what is inertia? Inertia is the tendency of an object to remain at rest or continue its motion at a uniform velocity along a straight line. The concept of inertia is explained in Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law of motion states that an object will remain stationary or move with constant velocity if there is no external force acts on it. Now, let's move to the second example. As you can see in diagram 2, there is a stack of books and all of the books are initially at rest. Then, a person quickly pulls out one of the books horizontally. As the result, two books at the bottom will remain at rest and keep at their initial position. Meanwhile, the four books at the top will fall vertically. Let's move to the second part of our lesson, recognizing the relationship between inertia and mass. Look at diagram 3. There are two pels hang on a pole. The pels are hang on the same height. One of the pel is fully filled with sand. If a man is asked to make both pel to swing by pushing them simultaneously with the same force and then we ask him a question which bell is harder to push what do you think will be his answer as the observer which bell do you think will be the last bell to stop swinging tick tock tick tock tick tock the answer for both questions is the pail filled with sand. This situation happened due to inertia. An object with a greater mass is more difficult to set in motion compared to an object with a smaller mass. Therefore, the larger the mass of an object, the larger the inertia of the object. Now, look at diagram 3, where you can see a man trying to push an elephant. Do you think he's going to make it? Even the elephant thinks that it is impossible. Why do you think it is impossible? 
It is because the elephant has a larger mass compared to the mass of the man. It is hard to push an elephant which is initially at rest until it moves from its position. The elephant has a large inertia due to its large mass and causes the difficulty to move the elephant from its original position. Do you know that the inertia can cause both beneficial and harmful effects? Now you will know about it. In the last part of our lesson, we will discover the effects of inertia in our daily life. One of the beneficial effects of inertia is that you can have chili sauce and tomato sauce in your meal. I am sure that all of us has experienced this situation where we found that it is difficult to take the sauce out of the bottle. In order to take the sauce out of the bottle, we have to shake the bottle quickly in downward motion. This action will cause the sauce in the bottle to move with the same motion. When we stop shaking in a sudden, the sauce will continue moving downward and flow out of the bottle. One day, you are on your way to go home and suddenly, it's raining heavily. Then, you use your umbrella to avoid yourself from get wet. When you arrive at your home, you need to reduce the amount of raindrops on your umbrella. But, how are you going to do it? Ha! Huh, you can apply the concept of inertia in order to reduce the raindrop on the umbrella. What we are going to do is, we have to rotate the umbrella. When the umbrella is rotated, the raindrops are in the same motion as well. Then, the rotation of the umbrella is stopped. However, the inertia of the raindrops keep the raindrops in its motion and causes the raindrops to leave the surface of the umbrella. Passengers in the bus also experience the effect of inertia. When the bus, which is initially at rest, then it moves in a sudden, the passengers will jerk backwards due to inertia. The inertia tends to remain the passengers at rest. In diagram 8, it shows that a bus which is initially moving is stopped in a sudden. And this situation caused the passengers to jerk forward due to inertia. The inertia tends to keep the passengers in their initial motion. From both situations, we can obviously know that the inertia of the passengers keeps them in their initial state of rest or motion. Therefore, the passengers that stand in the bus have to hold on the provided holder in order to prevent the passengers from fall down due to the effect of inertia. Have you ride the roller coaster? How does it feel? I hope that one day I'm able to ride the roller coaster and experience the extremely thrilling moment on the roller coaster. There is a harmful effect of inertia due to the sudden change of speed and direction of the roller coaster. It is dangerous as it might cause the rider to thrown away and get injured. The inertia of the roller coaster's rider will keep them in their original motion. And there's a method to reduce the effect of inertia. The safety system in the roller coaster ensures the rider to remain at their seat and are not thrown out during the motion. As we all know, we are encouraged to wear the seat belt. Either we are riding or driving a car. 
Picture 2 shows the consequences if we refuse to wear the seat belt, no matter how near or far is our destination. The effect of inertia can cause the driver to jerk forward and result in a serious injury when a car is stopped in a sudden. Therefore, for our safety, we need to wear the seat belt when we ride or drive the car because the seat belt will make sure the person to remain at their seat when the car suddenly stops. Now, we come to the summary of our lesson. In this topic, you are introduced to the concept of inertia in the first part of the lesson. The concept of inertia is explained in Newton's first law of motion. In the second part of this topic, you learn about the relationship between inertia and mass. The larger the mass of an object, the larger the inertia of the object. Last but not least, you learn about the effect of inertia in our daily life. The effect of inertia can be divided into two, which are beneficial effect and harmful effect. Inertia can be beneficial to human beings as it helps us in our daily life. For example, the bottle of sauce and raindrop on umbrella. Inertia also can be harmful to human beings as it can cause injury. For example, the roller coaster and passengers in car and bus. Before we end our lesson, let us try to solve these two questions together. Diagram 11 shows a man jerking a tablecloth. As you can see, there is a glass filled with water on the table. From the diagram, what happened to the glass filled with water after the tablecloth was jerked by the man? We can see that the glass does not fall down and remains at its position on the table. So, which law is the best to explain the situation? The answer is A. Newton's first law of motion states that an object will remain stationary or move with constant velocity if no external force acts on it. Diagram 12 in this question shows two identical tops, F and G. Several pieces of aluminium are placed on top of G. Both tops are then spun simultaneously. The pieces of aluminium make the top G become heavier than top F. When both tops are spun simultaneously, top G takes a longer time to stop compared to top F. It is because an object with a greater mass is difficult to set in motion compared to an object with smaller mass. So, what is the concept that causes top G to take a longer time to stop? The answer is B. Inertia. This question is relating the inertia and the mass of the object. The larger the mass of an object, the larger the inertia of the object. I hope this video can help you in learning inertia and thank you for watching.